Greetings, friends. We have an assumption method problem sums ahead of us. Let's try. Azri attempted a math quiz with 70 questions. For each incorrect question, two marks are deducted. Deducted means taken away. For each correct question, five marks are awarded. Azri's score in the math quiz was 126. How many questions did Azri answer? correctly now since we do not know how many incorrect how many correct questions were there for azri we can employ the assumption method step number one we assume all 70 questions are correct now usually for the assumption method we will assume the opposite. For example, if we want to know how many questions did he answer correctly, we would have assumed all to be incorrect. But because if you had done so, all right, then your total marks for all the incorrect questions, right? If you said all 70 questions are incorrect, then the total marks for 70 questions will be 70 times negative 2 then your marks will be a negative marks even below 0 so that is a very very tough number to work with so instead of that we assume all are correct so if you do this at the end you will be able to achieve the number of incorrect questions all right so we will achieve number of incorrect questions okay bear this in mind at the end of the five steps we will get number of incorrect questions First step, assume all 70 questions are correct. Second step, if that's the case, what is the new total marks? Now, this will be 70 multiplied by 5. Why? Because all 70 are correct and for each correct ones, you get 5 marks. 350 marks. Step number 3. Difference in total marks now we know that the marks is not 350 it is actually 126 so what is the difference between these two numbers 350 minus 126 350 minus 126 224 marks is the total difference in marks now step number four is the difference between the two options okay what are the two options between a correct and incorrect question now you got to be very careful here usually we will do a subtraction okay but in this case in the incorrect question you are taking away two marks correct question you are adding five marks so let's say for example all right you would like to have these questions, question, 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 question. Let's say you want to know what is the difference in the first question's marks if you get it correct versus if you get it wrong. What is the difference? If you get it correct, you are adding 5 marks. If you get it wrong, you are taking away 2 marks. So the difference between a correct question and an incorrect question is actually 5 plus 2. Alright, it's actually 5 added to 2. That is the difference between getting it correct and getting it wrong. So for this question, we have to take 5 plus 2, which we will get 7 marks for a difference. Alright, so for example, let me illustrate this step with the marks for a certain question. Let's say question 1, question 2, question 3, all the way to question 70. Okay, now let's say you assume question 1 to be correct. Then that question 1, you will get 5 marks, right? But what if this question is actually wrong? You would have lost the 5 marks and you will be deducted two marks as well. So in total, the difference is a seven marks loss between a correct and an incorrect question. Step number five. 
we do a simple division. And this, again, as I've said earlier on in this question, you will get a number of incorrect questions. And this will be the bigger difference divided by the smaller difference. 224 divided by 7. 224 divided by 7 is 32 incorrect questions. So if you want to know how many questions are done correctly, number of correct questions. This will be 70 questions in total minus the, those incorrect ones you will get 38 correct questions. So let's do a quick check. If you get 38 questions correct, you will be getting 38 times 5. 38 times 5 is 190. And if you get 32 questions wrong, each question you will deduct 2 marks. So let's see how many marks must you deduct away. 32 times 2 is 64. Uh, so you take 190 minus 64. Let's see whether we get this person's score or not. Okay, 190 minus 64. 126 is this person's actual marks.